Determining slope from that equation, y equals mx plus b, it's just the constant out on the front of x. So to find the slope of a non-vertical line, we'll talk about that case in a couple minutes, we solve the linear equation in x, so it's involving x, for y. We want to get y on its own. When y is on its own, then it's in this form, and the coefficient of the x term is the slope of the line. So it has to be in that y equals blah form for us to be able to pick off m. So let's look at a few. All of these are linear, and we want to determine what is the slope of each of them. So I've got y on its own. Slope is the coefficient on the front of x. So that line is going to be increasing at a rate of 3 from left to right. And while we're at it, what is the y-intercept? Just to get some practice. 0, 2 ninths. Whatever constant is on the back, when I plug in 0 for x, I get that out for y. So part b, again, y is isolated. Slope is 4 fifths. And what is our y-intercept in this case? Goes through 0 what? 0, 0 goes to the origin. Since I don't have a specific um, y-intercept that's different from the origin. Next, what is the coefficient on x in this case? The unspoken 1. Y-intercept happens where? At the point 0, 6. And last, I've got a negative decimal, but still slope, which is the constant on the front of x, and the y-intercept happens where? 0 minus 0.5. It's a little bit of extra practice. So it has to be in that y equals mx plus b form. So if it's not, like the next example, I can't choose the coefficient on x right now as my slope, because that's not true. It's not equal to 2. We'll see what it's equal to. In the end, we need to get y on its own. So I need to move 2x to the other side. And I need y on its own. We divide everything by 3. So y is equal to minus 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. So the slope really wasn't 2. What is the slope of this line? Slope is minus 2 thirds. And for the heck of it, where is the y-intercept happening at? 0, 7 thirds. So more often than not, it's not going to be given to you in this nice uh, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So two examples on the next page for you to try. Given in that standard form, solve for y and tell me the slope of each of those lines. So, slope isn't 4, we need to get y on its own. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Generally, we write the x uh, term first, so you don't actually think the slope is 7 instead of um, the coefficient on x, but it's not actually either of those yet. We need to solve for y. So, y is equal to minus 4 divided by 4, so it's just minus 1 plus 7 fourths. So slope is minus 1, y-intercept was where? 0, 7 fourths. Okay, second one. Again, we want y on its own. So we need to subtract 5x, divide everything by minus 4. A minus divided by a minus, negative divided by a negative gives us positive. And 8 divided by negative 4 gives me minus 2. So my slope was 5 fourths. Y-intercept was at 0 minus 2. All right. So now let's look at some special cases. I'm going to graph the line y equal to 5. 
So again, we've had a little bit of practice with graphing these. Am I going to have a y-intercept or an x-intercept when I graph this? I should have a y-intercept. So my line's going to have to be horizontal to cross this axis. So it's going to be horizontal at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So we want to talk about the slope of this line. So just visually, let's take a peek. If I start at some point, let's just say right here. Don't know what it is, but it's on the line. If I want to move to this point, how many units do I have to rise? Zero. I'm not moving up and down at all, but I'm running some constant left and right. So zero divided by any number is always what? Zero. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero. And the next case we want to look at is a vertical line. What kind of slope are we talking about there? So again, what kind of intercept am I going to have? An X or a Y? Gonna need an X, so it has to be vertical to cross this axis, specifically at minus two. And again, let's just pick some points. I'll pick here and here. So, how many do I have to rise to get from this point to this one? Some number. Okay, and then how many do I have to run? None. But with fractions, what can we never do? We can never divide by zero. Can never divide by zero. So, therefore, m is undefined. Whenever we try to divide by zero, that value is undefined. Okay. So in that little box, just to sum it up, the slope of a horizontal line, y equals some constant, is always zero. Slope of a vertical line, when it's x equal to some constant, is always undefined.